I walked through the kitchen a few weeks after Karen's death and saw the little plaque she had given me years before. It reads, You are my happily ever after. And she was mine. I had seen this plaque a thousand times, but this time it stopped me in my tracks. And I wondered, how can I be happy now that my happily ever after is gone? I stood there for the longest time. How am I going to be happy now? Well, I thought to myself, I'm about to find out. That is our aspiration as you and I move forward following any devastating loss. We first engage our grief and fully express our mourning. We get it out. We cry it out. We talk it out. We write it out as we journal. We must find our way through the valley in order one day slowly to transition into our lives that lie ahead. This process cannot be rushed. It must be honored as it comes. But as we engage it, we are assured, as the scriptures say, weeping may linger for the night, but joy will come with the morning. The day will break. Healing, resiliency, even growth can be realized as we enter our new lives. This is a book on grief, but it's really about hope.